Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A. So today we're going to do a voiceover, honey, okay? Just a little voiceover. Now this wig is by the company called Ulyssa Hair. Y'all see it came with an elastic band inside. It was already nicely like done for your girl. I love a good elastic band, okay? And get this, I already worked with this company before, okay? Plenty of times. They got some really nice units, you guys. HD Swiss Lace, 250% density. The curls are nice and tight. Not like a kinky curly type, but a very nice tightness. So these are the products that I'm gonna be using in this video. I'm gonna be using my lot of body wrapping foam. I'm gonna be using my lot of body detangling spray and my lot of body moisturizing lotion. Now I've had these products for a minute because I use them in my own natural hair. Y'all know I'm gonna use this. So let's see how our wig comes. Okay, girl. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas. Hey, divas. Let me tell you now, D-I-B-A-S. Divas. to do before applying any lace wig girl is make sure that you are clean around the hairline so if you got makeup on foundation on you best want to go ahead and wipe that off because you don't want any of that foundation getting on the hairspray and getting on the lace it just makes a mess honey and even though i just did my makeup i'm gonna go ahead and clean some of that off i'm gonna put on this little wig grip band y'all see i don't have no stocking cap on today i brushed my own little hair back as far as i could girl okay now first of all let me just tell y'all something okay girl this lace wig is super duper cute but the issue that i had right here was just right here on the side y'all see you have to see my own natural sides but there isn't any hair right there girl no i did not pre-pluck or pre-tweeze the wig i didn't tweeze anything it came to me just like so but um, I'm going to just cut around I'm going to make sure that I keep the lace on right there so that way you know what I'm saying I have some lace so I did keep the lace right there in that area where it was you know just no hair at now I might have had the wig on a little bit too tight I don't know well it wasn't tight at all but anyway let me just tell y'all make sure you cut the lace off like you see me I'm cutting around it so I'm still leaving some lace as you see on the unit so that way when I do adhere it I'll have some lace that'll go against my hairline you know what I'm saying so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is flip that bad boy up and yes I did bleach the unit and no none of the hair fell out okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put on one layer of hairspray you want to make sure that it gets tacky prior to spraying any other hairspray on it like you know a second layer make sure you let it get tacky so I did let it get tacky you, feel, you see I'm feeling it right there feeling it and I'm gonna go ahead and spray another layer on for this one I'm only gonna spray two layers on but then you will see me spray on more so you got to make sure that this drops quick girl so you know 
I should have sprayed this. I, I sprayed a third layer on the sides only. I don't really need three layers on in the middle, but on the sides I do because it'll get dry. So now you see me spraying some more right here. And like, look, I'm telling y'all, I love this Aussie Instant Freeze. It dries super duper quick, girl, okay? So see, look, I gotta put a little bit of spray on my comb and now I'm gonna go ahead and press it down. Now you see where I, I kept some of the lace on, on the edges right there? just so that way I have some lace. The lace is transparent, Swiss HD lace, baby. Do it like it's your day, okay? I really didn't mind the fact that there wasn't like the hair right there in the areas because my hair is thinner right there. So I just think it looks more natural anyway, girl, okay? So as y'all see, I'm just pressing that lace into my skin, letting it melt. This is some really good lace. You listen really did come up because when I first started working with them so long ago, you know, their lace wasn't like this, but you know, they got some good lace. Okay, girl, this wig is actually really, really nice. 16 inches, 250% density. Okay, HD Swiss lace. The lace melts, baby. The lace melts it. And just for some precautionary measures, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it on a cool heat. Because, girl, if you put that on hot, then you're going to just melt your skin off and the lace. Okay. Okay. Now, as I said, I did not pre-pluck this unit. I did not. I just put it on just as it is. It came. Look, let me tell y'all something. I love when the unit come already almost done for you. Like, I love when you don't have to pre-please, pre-pluck anything. That is like a blessing in disguise. Like, you know, because after a while, you get tired of pre-plucking. So, I didn't have to do anything to this unit. I am making some little baby hairs, but I'm not even really going to use them. I like the natural look of this unit. The lace is really, really good. The density is okay. The density is good for 250 I really think the density is good. Now, y'all know I'm going to use my favorite Mark Anthony's curly styling foam now look i'm finally using it on curly hair like i'm not gonna put this all in my hair like i do use this in my natural hair but i'm gonna just tell you if you use that mark anthony's curly foam throughout your whole hair it kind of makes your hair feel sticky and hard sometimes so i don't really like to use it too much on the wigs okay i just like to use it for the edges because it will smooth down your edges like nobody's business it doesn't stick um but it does feel sticky but it won't adhere the unit but I like the way it lays my edges down. So that's what I mainly use it for. And I got me a new can off of Amazon for $7, girl. Ooh, child, because that stuff is not cheap. Now, this comb right here, I love this little styling comb that I'm using. This little edge brush because I like the curve of the brush, the curve of the comb at the ends. Girl, it works miracles. And I did, um, did leave out a few speckles in the unit. Like, I really don't like to bleach too long into the hairline because you know it's thinner at the hairline so you got to be really really careful when you're bleaching your unit i always do the hairline last and i don't put a lot of you know bleach on it now just to smooth down the edges i'm gonna be using a lot of body wrapping foam now girl i don't know why they call it wrapping foam because you could wrap your hair with it too but girl let me tell you something foam is foam mousse is mousse it's all the same ish to me and i'm gonna use it for whatever i damn well please I use this wrapping foam in my own hair to make it curly. So it does what it does. I think it's all mousse, but it's just a nice way of putting it. But look, okay, I'm going to go ahead and brush my edges up with it. I have a lot of products in my house, a lot of hair care products. And I try to use them up because, gosh, they just sit in there. Now, the hair is a little bit too wild for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray some water in it. This spray bottle does have conditioner in it too. You know, some really inexpensive conditioner. I do believe I put in there. But either way, it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not. Just put some conditioner in your water bottle, okay? Not the water bottle you're drinking, girl, but the water bottle you're spraying in your hair. And I'm going to just spray it down. Um, I say conditioner because so it doesn't dry out. And I'm also using some of that lot of body wrapping foam because it works miracles for the curls, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. Okay. And this brush, yes, this brush is everything. This detangler brush. Look how nice the curls are popping. Okay. Look at that. These curls came back really, really nice. All you need to do to tame it is just put some water with conditioner in it and use some really good styling foam. Styling mousse, whatever. Just, I... I don't like it to be too thick. The styling foam, for when I am, you know, wetting the hair, I don't want the styling foam to be too thick because that's when it gets sticky. And then definitely you want to get the back, girl. Definitely hit the back up. So, yes. So as far as the hair texture, I love the curls in it. It performed very well. 
little shedding, nice tight curls. These curls are beautiful. If you want your hair to be bigger, you definitely want to, you know, fluff it out. Now, I'm going to be using a lot of body moisturizing lotion. I love this stuff. It works well. Makes your hair nice and soft, you know. Kind of reminds me of a lightweight pink hair lotion. Remember pink lotion, right? Who still uses that? I haven't used that in years. I used to love using that stuff. I couldn't live without it. I haven't used pink lotion in so long. But anyway, look at the curls in his hair. This came out so nice. The curls look very natural. As long as you have like the right brush, I think, and the right products, girl, you good. little tuck back behind the ear fix those little hairs right there look disappearing lace you don't even see the lace this came out cute this came out cute girl okay look at that look at those edges yes this is where I'm showing you guys that the lace I had to just leave the lace on so that way you know I could adhere it but it came out really really cute the curls are very natural I like the length of this this is a very nice looking length it's not too much. This is very everyday approved, okay? You can wear this wig every day. Every workout, play, go out with the girls, go to work, do what you gotta do. But let me know in the comments what you think of this unit. This is Ulyssa Hair. Check them out. They got loads of different wigs on stock, budget friendly for sure. And like I said, this is the products that I use, the Lotta Body brand. I will list everything down below. Um, I didn't use the detangling spray because I didn't need it, but for the most part, I'm feeling it. It came out cute. I like the way I tamed it with the products that I use. Try to use the products that you have before going out and purchasing anything new because what I just used, you may have something very similar in your stash and you don't have to purchase it. Girl, I'm just trying to use up all of my products. But I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. I will leave everything in the description box below. I will see y'all in the comments. Stay safe and I'll see you when I see y'all. Bye.